God's not dead. He's performing miracles every day. Today, we want to pray for you. I know there are many of you who need a miracle in your life, who are crying out to God for things. And so Pat and I are going to join hands in a moment. But first, I want to share this to just uh, encourage your faith. Pat, this is Bobby, who lives in Cleveland, Tennessee, was experiencing chest pains. So she went to her doctor and was diagnosed with high blood pressure and heart attack symptoms. She was given medication for the blood pressure. An arteriogram showed an aneurysm in her left ventricle. One day, she's watching this program, and she heard you say congestive heart failure. They've said you've got congestive heart failure, and you're in trouble. Right now, God is taking away the problem, and your heart is going to beat normally right now in the name of Jesus. A sense of relief came over Bobby after hearing that word. Later, there was no damage revealed in her heart. It's functioning properly. She's praising God for a complete healing. God is good. God is good and able. You know, Terry, I saw that story. I don't know how many people in this audience have been beside a little child that they love mm. and see that child facing brain damage or coma or death. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know what it's like as a parent. And I know people in this audience who know what it's like. And <clears throat> you, you've got such love and compassion. And, you know, what I came to me as I was praying for my oldest who was in a condition, crying out to God, and God suddenly said, okay, just hold it. You think you love that little boy, but I love him thousands of times more than you do. You know, and I realized what a poor father I was. And here I had a heavenly father. I was trying to talk him into doing something for that yeah. little boy. You don't have to talk God into doing something good for you. He loves you. He loves you more than you'll ever know. He loves you more than you love your children, love your spouse, love anything, love yourself. He loves you. You don't have to talk God into it. He loves you. So we're going to pray right now, and I want you to know the love of God is thousands of times greater than any love you have ever known for anybody. Terry and I are going to join hands. Father, we offer these people into the love of God. Lord God, you know their heart. You know their suffering. You know the trials. You know year after year of being locked into a wheelchair, being locked into a bed of pain, being locked into a situation where they couldn't move properly being locked into grief as, as a loved one's life is slipping away. In the name of Jesus, we lift before him your condition, whatever it is. We lift it before the Lord. And then in his name, we speak a word of faith. In Jesus' name, be made whole. Touch. Terry, you have something? There's a woman named Ellen. You've received a very negative diagnosis. God is healing you today, Ellen. Jeez. Just receive that. This is a terrible congestion in your lungs. You're having a hard time breathing. Just cough one time, and all that phlegm is going to come up right now as you do it. And your lungs are going to be absolutely clean and whole. In Jesus' name, all infection. Mm -hmm. Oh, <clears throat> fungus is going to be gone in Jesus' name. There's a mom praying for a child with a learning disability. God is healing that condition in your child, as, even as you're praying. The left ventricle in your heart is not functioning properly. There's a valve that is deteriorating, and your blood isn't flowing, isn't responding the way it's supposed to. God just did a valve repair in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. amen and amen. Wherever you are, give us a call. We'd love to hear from you. There's a telephone number on the screen. You can call in 1-800-759-0700. And uh, tell us what the Lord has done. If you need prayer, somebody's here to pray with you.